I am cleaning out my junk drawer today and doing a mini organizing decluttering project. If you are overwhelmed and need to start small, or if you have a junk drawer, or maybe you're a neat freak and you just want something fun to do, well, join in and use this video as your motivation, inspiration, to go through that one drawer in your house that is full of random stuff. You know the one. I think the last time I did this was when I did my kitchen declutter about six months ago. And things just show up in this drawer so the first step always is to clear the decks take everything out so you can see what you're dealing with when you want to tackle a decluttering project big or small you need two things you need a clean clear space to work from which for me right now is my kitchen countertop and you need to take everything out and put it onto that clean, clear space. It's really important to have a clear workspace to declutter from. So get everything out of the drawer, get it out of the closet, get it out of that messy room and get it into a space where you can assess and make decisions. You need that space and that clarity in order to really decide what you want to do next. So that's always step number one. I have this leftover temporary wallpaper I bought for another project and I decided to add a little decor to my drawer. I use this wallpaper in my tea drawer which makes me so happy so figured I may as well show my junk drawer the same love. I'm using the grids in my tile as the guiding line to cut along because this paper does not have lines on the back, which I was pretty shocked about. I don't remove the backing when I line the inside of a drawer because I just know that it's going to get me into trouble. I am not a DIY expert and I can cut barely, but if I were to try to tape this down, I am certain I would end up with it all bunched up, stuck together, crumpled, and ruin it. So I keep my dignity intact and keep the backing on and just lay it flat into the drawer. Super easy. Easy does it. So now it is time to do the decluttering and this process is all about decision making. So the method I like to use is the one thing at a time method and that means I just pick up each individual item and make a decision about it so that I don't get overwhelmed and this process is a good way to work with a super messy room super junky closet yes i am going to do my closet video this month i promise but in this situation i'm just picking up one item at a time making a decision am i going to keep it or am i going to get rid of it and then once i know what i'm going to keep 
that's when I start the organizing portion. So first you take everything out, put it on a clean workspace, then you pick up one item at a time and make a decision about it. Those things that you're not going to keep, you're going to either throw them away or recycle them or donate. And the things you are going to keep, you want to find homes for all of them. Now it's time to organize and make it functional and make it make sense for you and your brain and your home. This drawer is right by my kitchen sink, so I know that the front of the drawer, I want those items that I pull for the most to be in front, and the back of the drawer can be things that I don't need regularly, like that spare key. In the front, I have my sponges, my extra sponges that I just pull out whenever I need to do the dishes. And those small plastic hooks in the bag, I keep those in the middle. I use those all over the house. They're really awesome. I have a couple on my uh, open pantry standing shelf. I hang my measuring spoons and my measuring cups from them. So the things I am keeping, box cutter, uh, I have a knife in there, a pocket knife. That's a good place to have a weapon, I guess, in the kitchen. I'm just making my pile of things that I'm not keeping. I thought I might keep these. I've decluttered the other six, but I really don't need them, so... Now I thought I'd want to put the lid on this box, but I don't like having things out of sight. If it's out of sight, I will forget about it. So I just kept the box open. This is my discard pile. Got lots of plastic forks and spoons, things that come when I order takeout. A couple of napkins. I have these old paint samples that I had to wait until they dried out before I could discard them and now they are dried out and ready to be tossed. A couple of papers, revisiting these drawer pulls to see if I want them. These little samples I can hold on to and I don't need to, so discard. This right here is for the base of my frother, which I keep in a drawer. I don't need the base. This is a congratulations card I bought for my family member who had a baby and that baby is going to be in college by the time I mail this out. So I took a picture and sent it to her because it's the thought that counts. It's the little things that make a big difference. Taking 15 minutes for yourself or for your home to do something that makes you smile. Getting started is always the hardest part, but then once you do it, you feel so good. And one of the things that keeps me motivated and inspired is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who wants to explore their creativity, learn a new skill, or up their personal growth. It's helping me feel creative again and passionate about taking time for self-care and not just treating myself like I am a walking to-do list. This ultimate self-care playbook by Jonathan Van Ness class is too much fun. I look forward to spending time with this man every evening after a long day of work. Taking Skillshare classes injects fun and creativity into my life and I am happier for it. The first 1,000 people to use my link in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Let me know what classes you take in the comments so we can compare notes and share our favorites. Thanks Skillshare. And thank you for watching today's video. Look at that neat organized drawer. Can't call it a junk drawer no more. It's now my everything else drawer. Happy decluttering guys.